Hello there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. Today we're going to discuss dating after a divorce. Now this is something that a lot of people get really frustrated with. They go through a very long drawn out um, divorce and they've just lost all their their drive and, and feelings for just getting back out there again. Like what is the point? Look what happened when I ended up in a relationship last time. So the hardest part is, is that you put so much trust into loving your partner and it's broken, it's shattered. And so you have got to pick up those pieces and try to start over again and, and be all cool about it, not be jaded, be all happy, yeah, I'm going to meet somebody. When you're not really in that place mentally, you're going to get there eventually. Well, at least I hope you're going to get there eventually because I don't want you to sit down and say to yourself that you're, you know, you're one time person for the rest of your life. You've got so much to give to other people. And the thing is, the more you learn from what happened in your relationship is how you're going to meet somebody that's better for you. Again, don't hold on to stuff that you keep repeating because that's just obviously not working for you, is it? So you're not going to keep going back. So how do you get yourself back out there and date again when you're still kind of tarnished and, and feeling a little bit destroyed from everything you had to go through? How do you even sit there and think that you could ever trust someone enough again? You have to go into each new scenario with a fresh outlook. If you go in there and you've got so guarded and you've got all this anger and animosity about what transpired, you're not ready to go out there again. I can tell you that for sure. You don't want to put yourself out there until you're ready. And what I mean by being ready is take some time after your split and after dealing with all of the proceedings that go along with that split, whether it's got to do with the kids and custody and court battles and all those things. But please don't ever give up on it because there is someone for you out there again if you believe in love. A lot of us take so much hurt and anger and resentment and everything into the next part of our life after we've dealt with something that was really traumatic. And that's what keeps us so much longer from finding a better place for ourselves because we're holding on to the wrong things. You own those things, you deal with those things, and you put them in a little bag, tie it up and throw it away. And then you start new thinking. You open yourself up to different people. Don't maybe go out with the same types of people that you went out with in the past. Try something completely different. Better yourself by trying new things outside that you maybe have never done before. This could lead you to meeting different types of people as well. So dealing with a lot of people in my coaching business with dating, they get really frustrated. They've been dating for a month and they expect everything to happen overnight and they, they're said it's not working, I'm giving up. It doesn't matter whether you speed date, whether you're online dating, whether you're going out and mingling, you're going to meet up groups and you get frustrated because you're not meeting anybody. I tell everybody, how long did it take you to get your business going? How long did it take you to go to school to get your, your uh, degree? We all have patience for all of these things in our life, but we don't have patience for the one thing that we're going to spend a big part of our life with, and that's being in love with somebody or having a relationship with somebody. You're not going to meet them that quickly. Understand that you're going to go through a few frogs. You know, you're going to be moving and, and trying to experimenting and, and meeting different people. And that's okay. Don't get frustrated and think that you're going to end up in a committed relationship with every single person that you're with because you're not ready yet. You're still learning yourself. You're on a bit of a curve here after divorce. You're dealing with a lot of emotions. You're dealing with a lot of stuff that's got to be sort of pushed to the side a little bit here. And you're going to have some really cool new experiences too that are like kind of freaky because these are different for you, putting you into a completely different area than you're used to. And don't be afraid to do that. So don't go into your next part of your life after divorce and not try something unique and something exciting and something that's going to bring you joy. Because people who get stuck and say, I'm never going to date again, I'm, you know, that divorce killed me, like, blah, blah, blah. Of course it's horrible. Every, every re breakup is horrible, whether you're married or not. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't give people a chance and give yourself a chance at finding love again. 
So get online once in a while. Be very safe when you're out there. Don't believe everything you hear. Listen to your gut. Listen to those instincts that pound at you. Don't ignore them. Ask some friends for advice. Hire a coach for a while. If it didn't work the first time, you've got to change things up. And it doesn't have to be drastic. It can be small things, but they're just enough that you have a different outlook on things. You're not sitting there holding on to anger. You're not holding on to stuff that is keeping you boxed up. You want to get out and, and try all these different things that maybe you missed out on the first time around. Maybe the person you were with didn't want to do these things. And now you have the opportunity to be free and do whatever you want. Make that a priority after your divorce. And by doing the things that are maybe a little bit different and things that you want to do, the chances of you meeting somebody are, are pretty good because you're happy. You're getting out. You're not stuck in your little corner in your home. You're making yourself get out of it. Please don't let that one mistake or that one scenario, maybe it lasted for 20 years and you're saying, oh, I just, I'm just crushed. I can't do this again. Give yourself some time and please put yourself back out there. At least go and have some fun. You don't have to get married again. No one's telling you you have to get married again. But go out and date, get to meet some other people and understand that, wow, this can happen again. I maybe can find love, uh, you know, at another stage of my life. It's not always just about that one time, the first time you married somebody. There's lots of other things that come into your life. So don't give up. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments below the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.